In this video, we will be discussing how to decrypt an encrypted MSSQL database. SQL database encryption improves SQL server security. We generally encrypt our databases to make it safe from the unauthorized access. The encryption process uses a key or password to encrypt the SQL objects. So, with the objective to decrypt your SQL database with ease, you can use the SysInfo 4 SQL decryptor software. It is the most reliable tool to remove encryption from SQL Server database objects. Now let's have a look upon the specific features of the software. Easily decrypt your complete MS SQL database. Removes any kind of encryption from SQL database. Compatible with all versions of SQL Server including SQL Server 2019, 2017 or earlier versions. Smoothly decrypt SQL stored procedure, triggers, views, and functions. Provide option to save the decrypted SQL instance. The software offers to preview the decrypted SQL database items. Now let's examine some of the preconditions before installing the software. If you are a Windows 10, 8.1, 7 or Vista user then launch the software as run as administrator. You have to verify that Microsoft. Net Framework 4.5 is already pre-installed on your system. You have to create a live SQL environment of the sleek working of the software. Let's now understand the working of the SQL Decryptor software. Launch the SQL Decryptor software, choose the server instances. Select the mandatory login mode either Windows Authentication or SQL Server Authentication. If you go for Windows Authentication you do not need to log into the database. After that from the drop down list chooses the appropriate database name. Click the process button to continue. Here you will see the list of encrypted data objects in a tree structure. Select the objects you want to decrypt and click on the save button. Here you will get two options to save the database either with encryption or without encryption. Let's choose without encryption option. Now choose the SQL database instance from the drop down list. If you choose to save the decrypted instance into the database then choose from the two places by Windows Authentication or SQL Server instance. In the same column, if you choose for save in existing database option then add a prefix name and prefix added in saving object box. Hit the OK button to save the database items. Or you can choose to save as SQL scripts option then click on browse button to select the user defined location. Click OK to save the database objects as SQL scripts. Thank you for watching the video. For more such updates subscribe the channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn.